being in an industry that might be hit hard during this time or has been, and therefore the chats go, can I transfer it to a different one? I've been in this industry in an operational leadership role for 25, 30 years. And now I'm feeling that I might need to, in a short while, look outside of it. How do I position myself? How do I reframe myself? I'm, I'm paraphrasing what the questions are. To be successful in a search outside of the space I've always been in and been known in. So, um, Connie, let's start with you, then we'll bounce back to Harriet. What do we do in that situation? That's a tough one because uh, right now, uh, hiring leaders are not taking chances. And so it's very important that you're very clear on the transferability of your experience. And my recommendation is to look at industries that are somehow aligned, kind of next door to where you've been working rather than you know, going from retail to manufacturing. Um, but try to find some kinds of industries that are close but not the same so that your skills can be more obviously transferable. Mm -hmm. Harriet, anything to add to what Connie just said? I would agree that recruiters are, and I mean that internal or external, um, in particular are going to take the path of least resistance. They're going to look for experience. They're going to look for depth. So finding those parallel or similar industries are key. The other is your conversations need to be with those in a position to make decisions. Um, if you know some of the business challenges, again, or opportunities they may face, and you're able to connect the dots between things that you've done in the past, Perhaps that's a way in the door. Um, again, I'm thinking of a, a gentleman who um, is really looking at a lot of finance type positions and strategy, but he doesn't have a finance background. He's actually an attorney by education, but he left private practice many years ago to help with a startup. And the work that he's been doing since that time has been more along the lines of strategy and certainly a depth in finance. But it's, he's not someone who could, who could easily apply for a finance role and be considered because he doesn't have the CPA. He doesn't have the 15 years of finance experience, but he does have financial acumen and a lot of strategic hands-on experience. The challenge is, though, he cannot get past the recruiters. And honestly, he's probably not going to. Um, he has to go through a different door, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So patience is key. Absolutely. I want to turn I, back to I had one more thought, if I yes, could add. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tony. Uh, I was talking to someone who is in job search in my own network, not through work or coaching. Um, and one of the ideas that we talked about was working toward connecting with the suppliers who have been serving his company and, or the customer companies. And so that's sort of that um, expanding the circle, but not getting totally out of your comfort zone in terms of industry. And so this gentleman was, was excited when we started talking about that because he has great relationships with the customers and suppliers of the company that he's in that's failing. Um, so I think that's something to think about. Look into Absolutely. your network. 